Hey, thank y'all for uh, being here. Uh, we hope to see you every week, if possible. Uh, it is game week. Uh, you know, been through a long, arduous uh, camp. Uh, we've been comparatively fortunate from an injury standpoint. Uh, we lost Sam Levy early, who's a, a freshman linebacker, and of course, uh, Aaron Williams has had a burn incident this summer and is close, close to getting back. Uh, but uh, I think, for the most part, you know, most everybody will be uh, available, uh, other than maybe those two. And uh, so, you know, we're uh, uh, looking forward to uh, the opener. UAB is uh, certainly uh, a difficult opener. They got seven, eight guys on both sides of the ball back, a great punter and kicker. And uh, so, you know, they, and Garrick McGee uh, is certainly uh, 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 recognized uh, uh, for for his offensive uh, strategies and and you know they're a good uh, good football team two quarterbacks that have played against us the last couple of years so uh, you know it should be it should be a heck of a game and you know we'll have to we'll have to be at our best uh, hopefully we can get that uh, but it's time to coach and play and uh, and uh, you know I'm I'm hoping that uh, that we're up to the task. Uh, Certainly hope we get a great home crowd uh, and uh, looking forward to uh, this week and finishing out the week strong and, and uh, being prepared in all facets uh, to, uh, to play a college Division I football game. And uh, So uh, uh, again, uh, we have been pretty blessed. Uh, hopefully we can stay that way this week and plan to if at all possible. And, uh, so, uh, any, anybody got questions? Opening up the season with the uh, in-state team kind of adds a little bit extra. Well, it, it does. You know, uh, there's a a lot of uh, there's a lot of cross administratively in in this state, certainly collegiately with UAB and, and Troy University and U.S. Conference USA opponent, which is uh, I think always should be important to us uh, playing from the Sun Belt across conference lines against USA but uh, uh, it's a it's a big game for them it's a big game for us you know and uh, you know you, you got to realize that you're gonna get their best shot and you, you've got to be ready for it and prepared for it and uh, so that's where I hope we are you know we won't know for sure until we kick it off and play 60 minutes so you know, I think I think we're prepared uh, in all three phases. Uh, uh, you know, to be involved in this type of game. So it is a but in-state rivalry, cross-conference lines. You know, uh, been a very hard-fought uh, series over the years, and uh, so we got to make sure that we're ready for the task. With the influx of guys felt like you had to dial it back a little bit so these guys can learn or do you feel like they're catching up pretty quickly? Well, my, you know, I, I don't know that we've dialed it back a lot, uh, maybe somewhat, uh, but, uh, you know, I, I think we'll have a pretty complete overall offensive, defensive plan along with special teams plan and, uh, you know, uh, uh, but, you know, you got to be, you got to be able to get lined up. Uh, properly on both sides of the ball and uh, that means you got to get your calls or your signals or whatever in uh, readily and uh, so uh, you know we've had a lot of good work I, you know I and I, I hope that uh, all these young guys are don't get any stage fright or anything like that they've they've not shown signs of that but you never know and uh, you know on in, in the game, in the game like this or any game, you gotta, you have got to uh, uh, understand that turnovers, penalties, uh, all those things both ways, you know, uh, are important. It's important to get them on defense. It's important to eliminate them on offense. And uh, playing hard and playing together, uh, uh, you know, with uh, with one heartbeat quote. 
but uh, you know is 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 vitally important. We we pressed the envelope pretty hard with these guys, and I hope that uh, they have absorbed enough to be ready to to play at a high rate of speed. Starting off at home, does that uh, give you any added benefit? Well, if you win, it's a great benefit. <laughs> But, uh, you know, I think starting off at home is good. Uh, uh, you know, certainly a lot of other schools in our state are starting off at home. Uh, uh, but I, I really, really hope that we can, uh, can gather a huge crowd here for, for this opener. I think it'll be important uh, for our students, for our fans and alumni to uh, be here and not try to watch it on whatever it's on. I mean, I'm sure every, everything's on something. So uh, I think we're on uh, you or three, three, which is a computer concept, which I couldn't watch it, you know, because I wouldn't know how to get it on on uh, the computer. But uh, uh, but I, I think we'll have a, a really good crowd. It's uh, it's going to be in the cool, hopefully cooled off by then, you know, six. Six o'clock plus kick, uh, I believe, and uh, so uh, we've done about all we can do except polish up this week and you know make sure we got our plans down as as well as we can get them down. Coach uh, Darren Reeves was an impact player for you last year. Um, were you guys keen on shutting down the running back? Well, you, if we let them run up and down the field on us, we're gonna have a long night. Uh, you know, and their quarterbacks both have played against us, and they're both good players. And uh, so, uh, but yeah, we got we got to stop the run or limit the run. Can't give up big runs, you know. And uh, uh, but you know, you know, the running game will certainly be a huge part of what we're trying to do defensively. Anybody else?